Penetration is the name of the game with an animal as big as a bull moose. But the 80 pound Hoyt Alpha Tech launched the Easton 2413 XX 75 Arrow with a 100 grain three blade thunderhead exactly where it needed to be. It's a terrific feeling of accomplishment when you overcome the obstacles, not only of getting close to a huge animal, but to battle mother nature and triumph as Gary will certainly tell you. I think that's that's part of the reason we do it. There's, there's nothing else that gives that rush to be so close. I think only a bow hunter knows that feeling. Of course, the real work with a 1,600 pound animal isn't hunting them or even getting them. The real work starts once you've got them on the ground, skinning, quartering, packing the animal out. That's work. Not to mention a grizzly or a spare wolf or two could be in the neighborhood looking for lunch and a free lunch at that. For some reason, that animal, at the instant I released the arrow, decided to turn back towards me. It stopped right in mid-stride. Well, what's the chances of mid-stride stopping, backing up, and turning? And the arrow hit just in front of the shoulder, but it, it penetrated real, real well and got both lungs. But it caused me, it just apprehension oh my word i thought i'd missed yeah facing one of the most feared game animals in the world it's easy to understand how the mind begins racing the pulse quickens and even when you know the shot is perfect 
inflict and the wound is mortal, the waiting can be the toughest. Not to mention leaving your stand when you know that big bear is nearby and very angry. It is truly a North American adventure. The pursuit of the great bear will always be one of Gary's most treasured adventures. One that reminds him of the balance of nature, knowing that with one mistake, the hunter could easily become the hunted. And he crossed directly in front at almost a 90 degree angle, and I took the shot. and the shot was good. The arrow was straight and on target, and uh, we had a magnificent trophy, trophy of a lifetime, one of the nicest white tails that I've ever had the opportunity to get. Gary's 70-pound Hoyt PowerTech rocketed the Easton ACC 360 carbon arrow, carrying a 100-grain three-bladed thunderhead to the spot he picked. The penetration was perfect. The result, unquestioned. It also offered Gary the opportunity to spot and stalk, clearly one of the toughest ways to harvest the elusive whitetail. It's also one of the most rewarding when everything comes together and the shot presents itself. When you walk up, a lot of times things ground shrink, but big ones don't ground shrink. When you walk up to them, it's usually like, oh God, you, you realize it's bigger and better than you even thought it was. Uh, you know, you take a hold of those antlers and you look at them and, and you admire the animal. He also knew it was a fantastic opportunity to claim a central barren ground caribou of magnificent size. In fact, Camp Eco has a reputation of putting hunters in position to claim not only record book animals, but world record animals. Well, Camp Eco is a unique camp in that they've taken the world records there.
he was a he was a beautiful mature bull and i'm sure he passed his genetics on and when i knelt down and i was looking at him and and thinking i wonder how many wolves this guy has seen it's an adventure because being north of the arctic circle and being with the native people of that country part of the country of north america there is so much one can learn from them so i found it a very very educational a growing moving experience to learn about native heritage and values and customs the trophy was the frosting on the cake <laughs>